In this video, we'll see how to work with number functions in Tableau. There are various types of inbuilt number functions in Tableau which you can utilize. Now let us see that one by one. So first of all, I'm working in the number functions workbook Global Superstore 2017. You can download this workbook below this video itself. Now what I'll do is I'll try to show you. First of all, I'll just bring this subcategory here and then I'll pick up the sales in the text and I'll pick up the profit and I'll drop it in the between here. So I'll get sales and profit both these fields. Now suppose if I want to calculate the cost, the cost can be calculated if you subtract, you know, profit minus that is sales minus profit, you'll be getting the cost. But if you observe, there is no cost. That's the measure which is available. So if you want, you can create your own field itself in this tableau and you can define it here itself. That means cost would be given at this place. How do we do that? There are various methods to create a calculated field. So one method is you can just right click at this place right click on this place and select this option as create calculated field and you'll get this dialog box which says calculation one the name of the function uh, the name of the function which will be created here and these are the different inbuilt functions which are given here so i'll just click on this close that is one method second method is anywhere if you select this option the measures click on this drop down select this option as create and if you select this create calculated field again you'll get the same dialog box i'll click on this close Another method is you can go to this analysis menu bar and if you see there's an option given as create calculated field. So all these three options will give you the same, you know, dialog box itself. So let us see if I right click at this place below the measure names, create calculated field. And now I want to create a field named as cost. How do I create the field named as cost? I'll write here the option as sum of sales. How do I write it? First of all, just type as sum. And when you get the list in the drop down, these are the options which are available. These are the functions. Uh, when the function is selected, you can just press tab and then you, it says the syntax. What do you want the expression for? I'll say as sales. Now, if you see, there's a hash sales, which is given. That means this is a measure inbuilt, which is in your uh, tableau itself. So you see sales, which is given here, this one. So I'll press their tab minus. Now this says it's an inbuilt. That's a measure which is given the square bracket itself. Again, I'll type as sum of and I'll type here as profit tab. That's it. So sales minus profit, I'll be getting the cost and I'll just click on this apply, click on this. Okay. So if you observe here, I've got a field that is cost here. If you see carefully the symbol of this one, the other ones are different. This symbol says for the numbers and the upper one, it says equal to hash. That means it's a calculated field. So what you have to do is you have to simply pick up this cost and you have to drop down here in this place. So here you can see calculate that. If you subtract profit from the sales, you'll be getting this particular cost itself. So it is very easy to find out. If you want to move this cost on the right hand side, you simply pick up this and you can just drop it in the bottom here itself. So I'll just pick up that and drop it below. So you see profit sales and what is the actual cost you can easily calculate. So this is how you can create a calculated field. This is the function which I have created. There are some inbuilt functions uh, which you can also use, for example, there are some functions like minimum, maximum, ceiling and floor. The minimum, maximum is very e easy and uh, you know simple to understand. So I'll just show you that minimum, maximum. So first of all, what I'll do is I'll pick up the option as subcategory and drop into the rows. I'll pick up this sales and drop into this field itself. Now I've got the accessories 749237. This is the value which I've got. First of all, I'll make into descending order like this ascending order again so labels it says 73350 that is the sales which is done here now if i want to calculate the minimum maximum what is this this is the aggregated it's a calculated field from all the database so let us see if i want to find out without doing the calculation what is the minimum and maximum you can go to this analysis menu bar and if you see there's an option given as aggregated measures so i'll deselect it and here if you observe i'll get list of all the you know values which are given they are very very lengthy here so what i'll do i'll expand this option here i'll just scroll it and i'll expand it any one of them yeah it will take time yeah so now if you observe the values are given in the descending order if you observe this labels the sum which you are getting is nothing but the calculation of sum of all these numbers if you open your database in excel you will find out the highest sales done for the labels category subcategories 786 and it will it will keep on going in the descending order itself so this is how so if i want to find out the maximum sales which is done in this place that is 786 with the help of some function inbuilt functions 
So how do I do that? First of all, I'll go back. I'll go to this analysis and say as aggregated measures. So remember the number 786 here. So what I'll do is I'll go here in this measures and I'll create a calculated field which will give, it, give me the maximum of this sales itself. So select any one, click on this drop down, create calculated field and here I'll type as maximum and I'll type here as max of sales. So max of sales I have written here, click on apply, click on OK. Now I'll just pick up maximum and drop into this area. So here if you see I'm getting the answer as 786 which is the highest sales which is done. So all of them will be valid if you just expand any one of them with the help of this analysis aggregate measures you will understand everything in this place. Same way if you find if you want to find out the minimum sales done for this any option here labels, uh, fasteners, envelopes, anything. Same process click on any of the drop down click on this create calculated field and here I'll type as minimum type as min of sales click on apply click on ok and this is the minimum pick up and drop it in the area itself so you see the minimum sales the value of minimum sales which was done is nothing but two one two three 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 and so on so these are the minimum sales which are done so it's very easy to calculate the inbuilt function itself let us see some more example related to you know inbuilt functions that is the ceiling and floor so first of all for that example i need to bring here the option as subcategory into rows and sales into this values itself so if you see i'll just make into the descending order so if you see the highest sales done is 1706824 for the phones itself now that is in the integer format if i want to make into the other format let's say as a float values so i need to format this i want in the decimals so i'll just click on this drop down select the option as format and here if you see the format for sum of sales right now it is in the numbers i'll select as number custom so if you see when i select number custom it has converted to decimal itself okay and i'll just simply click outside click on this close button itself after you close this you'll be getting this integers now sometimes you want to round off the numbers the best values so rounding off the numbers Suppose this is the number 1706824, you want to uh, you know convert into the highest value. Suppose it is 8 to 4, anything which is up after 8 to 4, point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, you want to convert into 8 to 5, one extra in this place, anywhere. So that is nothing but known as ceiling. If you want to come down one, one step, that becomes as floor. If you want to understand more about it, you can see the Excel videos we have created for ceilings and floor here, the examples. So I want to you know round off everything to the upper level. So one level above. So whatever numbers if you see here if it is 237 it will be converted to 238. Here if you see 811 it will be converted to 812 itself. Anything extra is there even if it is 495 it will be converted to 496 itself. How do I do that? Inbuilt function available with tab view. Again I will just select anything click on this drop down. Create calculated field and I will type here as ceiling this name can be anything this can be customized and there's a function which is inbuilt that is ceiling what ceiling do you want i want ceiling for sum of sales ceiling for sum of sales click on apply click on ok now as i said all the numbers will be incremented to the top one because ceiling if you remember if you see that ceiling is nothing but the above part so now from here i'll pick up this ceiling and i'll drop it here itself now if you observe carefully any number if you pick up like this one it is 812 it has been converted to 813 and if you select this one let's say yeah this one is 89495 it has become to 89496 so one one step above so that is known as ceiling same way if you want to create for floor i'll just select this option again create calculated field and here i'll type as floor floor of sum of sales you you have to keep on pressing tab Make sure you use this square brackets which you get. You don't have to type manually. You have to select. You have to press tab because these are the inbuilt which are given here. Inbuilt measures which are given. This is a function. That's a function. So I'm uh, doing a nested function here. Click on apply. Click on OK. Pick up this floor and drop into this area itself. Now if you observe here all the values, whatever the decimal it is, even if it is 1.9, it will take as one. Even if it is 1.1, it will take as one for the floor. So if you observe all the numbers, the decimals are removed everywhere and the original number has been taken here. Even if it is, if you observe here, this number, 
which is given as 15597 it should be converted to 156 but i have told to make it to as floor so it is saying as 8 uh, 385155 so the lowest value it has been accepting so i hope you are able to understand the different functions which you are which are inbuilt in tableau and which you can create by yourself we have we have tried to create a field that was cost sales minus profit we have seen inbuilt functions that is minimum maximum and we have also seen how to work on ceilings and floor that's all for this video